everyone in this video I'll show you how to test a boost controlled solenoid this applies to any turbocharged vehicle the principles are the same but the specs might be a bit different from solenoid to solenoid this particular solenoid is of uh, EJ25 which is the same as the EJ20 um, off of Subaru so if you suspect your boost controlled solenoid is playing up the first test you can do is use, using a multimeter the factory specification states that at 20 degrees, if you check the terminals here, they should be between 28 to 30 ohms. So 28 ohms is the factory spec, uh, plus or minus two, 2 ohms. So as you can see, that's within spec. So that's the first test you can do. The second test is, I'll show you the factory diagram now, it should show up. Okay, so the second test is, this is port A, this is port B. So when you supply um, air through port A, in the off condition, there should be nothing leaking out from here. So port B should not be supplying air while there's no power here. So I'll quickly grab an uh, air compressor and an uh, air blower, and I'll show you that. It's quite important that you set your air compressor to at least a minimum of 2 or 3 psi and a maximum of 5 or 6 you don't want to exceed this you're just testing it out the lower the pressure the safer so we'll take a line from here run through that hose and we'll just run it to there so now with the air blower connected to port A on the solenoid now we'll blow air And there's no air leaking out from here. It built up that much pressure so the line actually just popped up. So that's the second test you can do to confirm that there's no leakage between port A and port B. Now the third and final test is we can apply voltage to the solenoid and power it up while we're blowing air. When, when you power it up, um, port A should open up to port B. So that indicates that it's bleeding out air and sending it back into the intake system, thereby um, allowing for higher boost pressure. Now we'll move on to the third step, which is using the compressed air again and blowing it through here. But we'll be checking for air output here on this port B by applying a voltage here. So on the Subaru's, 12 volts is here as per the connector. I'll put up a picture now so you should see that. So this is positive, this is negative. Make sure you check your own specifications on your own particular solenoid. So we've got the 12 volt battery here. You can use a 12 volt or nine volt battery. And we're gonna apply that to here now. If you listen closely, you can hear a click. That's another indication that the solenoid's working well. So now it's opened. So now it's in the open position. And now if we blow air here, so you can hear the air coming out. I disconnected it. So all I'm doing is just connecting and disconnecting it here. And you can hear the air coming out. That's the third and final test you can do, and that determines that this valve is in perfect working condition. Thanks for watching, I hope that was of some help to you. For anyone who might be curious to know, this is the line, the boost line that runs, or the vacuum line that runs between your turbo compressor housing and your wastegate, and this is the T-junction that goes straight off to your boost controller. There is a restrictor pill in here, and if you get this the wrong way around, you will inevitably have low boost. So Subaru so actually mark the restrictor pull there. So it's on this side here. It's a bit hard to tell, but if you put a light up inside the pipe, you'll notice it. And if you actually press the pipe here, you feel it here.